I am just back from the bins. Just back. Uh, yeah, I think I was there a total of six hours, maybe five minutes short of six hours. And it was, um, oh, it was tough. There, the bins were really piled high, which just, you know, seems like a weird complaint, like too much stuff, but it's very difficult to dig through a bin that, you know, the edge of the bin is here and the clothes are like up here. Like, where do you put them? That's why they're all over the floor. The shoe bins were piled as well, but not as bad. So <clears throat> we actually both focused on the shoes a lot more, at least at the beginning. So then we would go to the clothes and people had been through it and moved things around to, you know, and I kept going back because as people would go through, you know, stuff from the bottom would be dug up that you might have missed. So I ended up getting 58 pounds. Uh, so uh, it's a lot for me. This was definitely on my high end. Um, and that's good because I'm not going to be able to go back. Well, actually, I may go back. I think I'm going back in like a week because I have a friend visiting, but we'll just go for a short because she's never been kind of thing. Um, but it'll be at least a month before I can do like heavy duty sourcing there. I thought I would break this up into two separate videos, um, clothing and then shoes and boots and uh, one handbag. Uh, okay, so we're going to just dive right in. Let me grab these bags. I have four Ikea bags sitting here near me. I, I mean, I have no idea if this is a good piece, but I love this piece. I think this is so cool. Uh, okay. This is, let's see, where's the brand? Hmm. This is Adidas. Adidas. It doesn't really say anywhere else, but it's this, oh, here it is. It's Hike. Adidas Originals by Hike. H-Y-K-E. I don't know what that is. I didn't look it up because it was just such a cool piece. It's a skirt. It's like a neoprene almost. And it's got this snake print. A drawstring waist. I just thought this was so cool. I hope this is a good piece, but I don't know. I mean, I, I like these sporty Adidas things. I have a skirt and a sporty Adidas dress. And another one is selling, and yet I buy them. This is a U.S. small. So what do you think? Is that not cool? Love that kind of thing. Again, I forgot to figure out where I was going to be piling things after I show them to you. I will pause at some point. This is Hot Topic. It's not a pricey brand and it's not something I can sell high, but I think they have like cool stuff that people look for. Um, where's the part that says Hot Topic? Hot Topic, size, medium. And it's a plaid, it's plaid overalls in like a lightweight fabric, like a cotton blend or polyester. Oh, probably mainly polyester. What is it? 60%, 66% polyester, 30%, 32% rayon, 2% spandex. So look, plaid overalls. Aren't they cute? No, I wouldn't wear them, but I, I think they're adorable. I don't know, maybe I would. I was feeling spunky. This is a brand that I can't sell. I have a couple of shirts in this brand, um, but I couldn't resist this. Mark Echo. As a little skull, look at the embroidery on this. It is strewn with skulls all over. I thought that was so cool. Scattered about and then bundled up at the bottom. I did when I put it, it's in, it looks like it's in excellent condition. And then I realized after I was putting it in the car that the seam is open there, which I can easily fix if I can find the, you know, eight minutes to do it. That's, there's the rub. Next is another style-based pickup. Most of my stuff is style-based pickup. I don't think I got any that I bought just because of the brand. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, this is uh, Rock and Republic, which is just coals, but I really liked it. It's a men's, 
I think it's a men's jacket. It, it, it's not wool, but it has that kind of wooly feeling. And it's got a hood that buttons on and the hood is more sweatshirty fabric. Got neat zippers. Just a nice jacket, I think. Uh, let's see, we'll move over here now. I did get two Christmas items, as a matter of fact. This is Star Wars. Star Wars, nothing but Star Wars. Um, and it says, I find your lack of cheer disturbing. And it does seem to say ho, ho, ho all over it. I'm definitely not looking to bulk up my Christmas bin too much, but I'll always pick up a few. This this is a brand I, I've just seen in other people's in other people's videos, and I've never tried to sell it, so I kind of wanted to give it a whirl, and it's really light. It is Wild Fox, and it's good that I've seen it in other videos so that I knew that it is deliberately distressed like that. I think there's one on the sleeve, too. Hi, low hem. Cute. I would not wear something distressed in this fashion, but people do. Okay. Oh, here's a couple of vintage things. This is Alfred Dunner. I know Alfred Dunner had a moment and it's not now, but this is clearly vintage. It's made in USA, hand wash, dry flat. It's got the telltale shoulder pads. And it's just a pullover sweater in this like glittery gold. It's like, I don't know if it's showing up. The gold has some sparkle to it, but not 100% sparkle. It's a little bit There, you can kind of see it. So I thought this was pretty cool for the vintage granny core, whatever, people, peoples. All right, this, I was on one side. So we've got a row of bins, we got a row of bins. I'm over here, there's this woman over here and she picks this up and she says, ooh, a vintage, vintage ski stuff. And from where I was, I thought it was a jacket. And she puts it back, so I'm like, do, 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 do. Boop, grab it. It is, this is some men's. Men's amazing condition. One piece ski suit. Look at that. You're probably familiar with the brand because they're still around. It is White Stag. Um, in my day, many, many moons ago, White Stag was a ski work company. Maybe they sold the other stuff, but I wasn't aware of it. My dad sold ski wear for a company called Pedigree and White Stag was their chief competitor. So we did not wear White Stag. No, it was no White Stag. Um, so he's rolling over in his grave, but whatever, look at it. It's so cool. Where is it made? I think it was made in Hong Kong. Ah, amazing condition too. I don't know if the elastic no crunch, no crunch, no munch. Whee, excellent, excellent. I thought that was so cool. She just put it back, she just put that back. Ah! And that's why no matter how crowded it is and no matter how people pounce on things, you can still find things because not everybody's looking for the same thing and somebody can look at that and go, oh, look at this and put it back. Okay, these are a pair of men's Ariat traditional relaxed boot cut size 44 slash 32. Oh, some nice jeans. Just some nice men's jeans. This is not my only Ariat item in this. I think I have a pair of Ariat. No, I put those Ariat boots back. I picked up a pair of Ariat boots and put them back, which I know is weird, but they weren't in great condition. They were very small. They were like kind of a weird design. So anyway, unusual for me to put something like that back, but I did. I keep pausing because I'm hungry. <coughs> I'm eating some soup. I brought two diff different snacky things with me to the bins <clears throat> and then my stomach was still growling. Okay. 
This is J. Jill, size 4X, dry cleaning tag. And it was just a pullover v-neck sweater. Good all year long for cool evenings. In the winter, definitely a, a, a four, four season sweater, wouldn't you say? This is my token kids item. My token kids item last Ben's visit were, were the, um, huh, yeah, were the Ariat boots, um, and they've already sold, so. This is, the brand is Timberland. Let me, oh darn it, I didn't even check the zipper, damn it! The zipper's busted. Well, I don't know. I don't know if the zipper's busted. I think the zipper's busted. Oh, I'm so annoyed. How did I miss that? I'm gonna have to play with this and see if I can get it to go down. Timberland, because otherwise it's in like really good condition. Look how cute that is. And this snaps off. Ugh. So it's like when you, when you go like that, it opens there. Any ideas or tricks to that? I will obviously have to play with this. There's no broken tooth or anything. So if I could just get it. Oh, I got it undone. So the question is, when I re-zip it, will it re-zip properly? We'll find out. Uh, the second J. Jill item I got, there must have been someone who donated their J. Jill because I got these two J. Jill items, size 4X, and my friend got the same one as this one in the same size in a different color, size 4X, J. Jill. So someone got rid of her J. Jills for whatever reason. That's a zip up sweater. That's a, with a, you know, you can wear the collar open like that, or you can zip it all the way to the top. Probably you wouldn't want to do that. I think the zipper would be like annoying. So, okay. The other Christmas item I got, I don't know the brand. It is French laundry, size 1X. But look. It's sort of, it's, I guess, I guess you'd call this eyelash. All, all that like frizzy, fuzzy stuff. But it's a penguin. How cute is that? High, low hem. So like a tunic length. Nice and soft and, and comfy. I thought it was adorable. Oh. Torrid size two. I bought this because, well, it's just a plain shirt probably rayon uh i guess you'd call this a popover it's got like a pocket it's got buttons but just like a quarter button panel but it's got um ostriches all over it a fun print people like a fun print because fun prints are fun and this is the brand is belle france cashmere very French, made in China. Uh, but I bought it because it's cashmere and it's really nice. It's red, high, low hem. So slit there, tunic, tunic top. I did check it over rather carefully and did not think that I saw any holes in it. I do have a bag of cashmere things that have holes in it and I collect them up and will eventually sell them for like a crafter who wants cashmere to work with. I had read to do that. I bought this for me. <clears throat> Not that I need it, but it's a jacket and it's got a big paw print. I'm pretty sure that's Best Friends. If you don't know Best, Best Friends uh, Animal Sanctuary, it's in Kanab. Kanab? Uh, Utah. Hello. Um, and if you're ever in the area or can go to the area, it's a great place. They have free tours. You get in a little van and they drive you around. So it's great. Uh, so, I, you know, it's just a plain, I, I mean, I, I actually think I have one that looks just like this. Do I have one or do I have one in inventory? I don't know, but that one doesn't have a paw print and this one does. So that's mine. And I think that's the only thing I got that I'm keeping. This is... Show me your moo moo size medium. And it's like, I believe it's a bridesmaid dress because apparently that's what they do. And it's just, it's plain, pretty color. In the back it has like this 
tie thing that hangs back to give it a little extra something. Je ne sais quoi. Okay. I was on the fence about this. So I'm making it a point to watch videos about things that are trending now. Um, I don't, can't hurt me. So I've started watching them. And one of the trends for this spring is denim on denim. And I thought this kind of fit in there. The brand is Palmer. I don't know if it's Palmer and Palmer, Palmer E. Palmer, um, Australia, made in China. Uh, I could not find anything about it, but it's a shift dress. And it's got the, you know, the medium light wash, the super light wash. And then this is almost a, it's not quite white. So it's like a super, super light wash. I thought that fit the, fit the trend. And like, if you could style this with a jean jacket on top, I mean, that'd be denim on denim, on denim, a lot of denim. Uh, that's why I bought that one. This is Lucky Brand, size large. I don't buy a lot of Lucky Brand because it doesn't sell well, but this is a men's flannel shirt. It's an interesting plaid because it has that like pattern going on there. It's got the yoke in the back, so it's a little bit of Western and pearl snap buttons, pearl snap buttons. I wonder if that'd be a good drag queen name, pearl snap buttons, snap hyphen buttons. Pearl hyphen snap, pearl snap hyphen buttons. I like it. Okay, two more items, and that will be the end of this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the shoe one right away. I don't know what the releasing order will be like. This is, the brand is Illumination, Dr. Seuss, the Seuss, Seuss, the Grinch. And it just says, Mary, whatever. And this color is also trending. So that's perfect. But of course, I'm not going to list. Eh, it's not going to be at the top of my listing list. Let's put it that way. And last but not least, this is a... Where's the name? Where's the name? This is a Patagonia. It's just a lightweight fleece zip-up jacket. Um, it has the R on the sleeve, which and there's a spot. So there's some work to be done here. And the R, uh, I learned from Kelly Schaffner's video. If you have not seen Kelly Schaffner's videos, you should because you can learn things like I learned. If I remember, I'll actually link her channel, but Everybody knows Kelly Schaffner, so I don't think I need to worry about that. But anyway, she had one of these, and she said that initially she thought the R was like a company-branded thing, but that it isn't. This is actually Patagonia, but I, I don't remember what it means. Uh, doesn't matter. I would have bought it anyway. It was just a nice, light, sort of mauvish blue, depending on the light. Size medium. Looks like it would fit me well. No, no. And that is it for the clothes. Uh, it actually started out that it was all shoes. And the first round of clothes, I only had like three or four items. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to get any shoes here. You really have to do the time there. If you go for an hour, hour and a half, you're not going to find much. Um, and we may find out about that because when my friend comes to town, if we go, we probably won't stay much longer than that. No, oh, excuse me. Uh, so anyway, thank you for uh, sitting through this part. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll, you'll give me a thumbs up and that you will also have or be watching the, the footwear portion.